Computer science videos here today to show you guys in tutorial 13 of programming in HTML5, HTML paragraphs. Without further ado, let us start the video. So the first thing we need to do is go all the way down to the doc, click on finder, go to documents, HTML5 folder, double click this, and then right click on index.htm, open with text edit, and now we can close out our finder, increase the size of the text edit file, and now command plus to increase the font size and now we can copy the code from the previous tutorial highlight cut and then open up the word document that we have on the right hand side of the screen go all the way down to the bottom command v to paste and then command s to save the word document quit word and now we can insert the paragraph codes into this text file for this tutorial before doing that we know that the html p element defines the paragraph so less than p greater than to close that off this is a paragraph and then the end tag and now we can highlight this line of code command c Next line, command V and type in this is another paragraph. So we can command S to save, go all the way down to the doc, go to finder, document, HTML5 folder, double click, index.htm, right click, open with Safari, close out of finder. We need to view the text edit file and the web browser side by side and then we are able to see what is happening simultaneously together. We as programmers are never sure how HTML would ever be displayed. Large or on small screens and resized windows will create different results. Within HTML, you cannot change the output by adding extra space or lines to the code the browser will remove any spaces and extra lines when the page is displayed. So we can write a couple of more lines. If I just copy the second line of code and paste a couple of times, remove the P tags, one would think that one line is printed on screen and then the next line would be on the next line. However, that is not the case. So if we save command S, go to the web browser, right click, reload the page. We have, this is another paragraph. This is another paragraph on the same line, which is what I was speaking about. HTML has a way of showing all the paragraph on one line, unless we tell the code to break or start on a new line. So if I now insert a break tag in the code, br command s, go to the web browser, command r, the code is now on a new line. If we insert a couple of more lines of code, I'll just say computer science videos and copy the line of code once and paste three more times and maybe have a space after every line command s to save go to the web browser right click reload the page and now if we remove all the p tags but not the one at the start or the end command s to save Go back to the web browser, right click, reload the page, and all the text will be displayed on one line. So how do we pre-format the text? We need the tag called pre. So we can insert the tag pre, pre, command to save go back to the web browser right click reload the page and now we have our text one line after another with a space so how and why did this happen well the HTML pre-element tag defines the pre-formatted text 
the text inside a pre-element is defined in a fixed width font and preserves both spaces and line breaks. And so in this tutorial, we were able to make use of the paragraph tag, the break tag, and the pre-tag, close out of Safari, save the index.htm, text edit file, quit. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.